giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. All right, well, that's going on. Mike's going to talk about in the fifth spot, Team 118. From League City, Texas and Clear Creek High School, it's the Robonauts. They have an overall record of 64-7. and seven. They were the winners of the El Paso and Pasadena District events and the Arizona North Regional. Excuse me. The Robonauts took three number one seeds and three wins at the qualifying events they played this year. And at the FIT District Championship, they would captain the number two alliance and walk away in the semis, kind of as we have talked about already. In qualification matches they had um, this year, in qualification matches, they had 19 unicorn matches. So 19 of those four RP. Um, and a robot that can navigate around defense and just continue scoring at will. Um, I really like that they have the ground pickup for fallen hatches. They don't have to um, push through defense to get to another, as I kind of mentioned with the previous team. Um, but they'll be in Carver this weekend in Houston. Uh, they were world finalists in 2017 and division finalists last year. Um, and looking to kind of bounce back and get back to the Einstein stage. So I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on um, the 118 this year, but just another um, consistent year for them. Um, we'll finish number five here. I mean, I think they're a little bit disappointed to be knocked out in the semis uh, with some tough defense against them at the uh, first in Texas District Championship. Uh, 118 is still a phenomenal machine. Um, uh, here, Here's my opinion, I guess, 118. I think they actually do need to seed uh, one or two. Um, or they might end up falling a couple more spots. There are some uh, great competitors uh, in the Carver division, and it will be interesting to see, you know, somebody like 330 uh, and, and 364 and, and a few others, on um, how they give them a run for their money, and, of course, 1678 in that division. Uh, and they might be the odd man out uh, if they're not. Um, so I'll be interested to see, like I said, I think in quals, I think they will seed very well, uh, but you got to be a little concerned about uh, the first in Texas championships. To me, they're a top 10 team. Uh, still, and I, I think they're still a phenomenal team. Uh, so hopefully they'll just come out flying and uh, uh, similar uh, to uh, some of the other teams we mentioned uh, can hold up the defense a little bit. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they're an H drive. Is that correct? Uh, I think on the robot. So Nick confirms, um, yeah. yeah, so Nick confirms there. And that's, that's got to concern you a little bit in regards to defense uh, that they can be pushed around pretty easily. So we'll see if they have a good solution for something like that in Houston. All right. <clears throat> so keeping it going. Our uh, next team is going to be 254. From San Jose, California, Bellarmine College Prep. It's the Hall of Fame Cheesy Poofs. 30 wins, one loss, one tie. With the winners of the San Francisco and Silicon Valley Regionals. So there are several teams in the top 25 with great records, but the 254 machine has years of domination behind them. Their win-loss for just the past two years is 83-1-1. One one. <laughs> they begin their quest for the third, their third world championship in a row this week. One thing 254 hasn't done this year, however, is seed one, and there's no doubt they'll look to get that done this week in the Turin Division, which features the highest average OPR at the Houston Championship. So it's going to be a battle to see who comes out on top, but good luck to Team 254, the Chiefs. Poofs. Just a crazy record. Just that complete, insane? As I was typing it, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my one. god. 83, one and one. So if you're paying attention, that was undefeated season last year. Yeah. And a crazy amount of wins this year. Okay. Yeah. And I think 254, you know, once again, not a perfect season. So I think people are a bit more harsh on them uh than probably what they should be for being 31 and one uh this year. Uh uh to me, I, I had them a couple spots back. I still think 254 is going to really come out and, and shine. Uh, some people, I think, are predicting that they, you know, aren't going to end up doing very well. Uh, I don't know if I take that bet. Uh, you know, there are some great, great teams uh, in turning, uh, but 254, it, it's very hard to bet against them with all the success that they've had continually. And you, you would think they'd continue that success uh, moving the championships, a team that never stops iterating. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, that's a commonality among all these top teams. They just oh, never absolutely. Stop yeah. All right, uh, in the third spot, heading into Houston Week 7, is Team 148. From Greenville, Texas, and Greenville High School, it's the Robo Wranglers. Uh, an overall record of 50-4, and four, and they were the winners at the FIT District Championship. So the Robo Wranglers and the Robot Overhang um, have had quite the successful season with two district wins at Amarillo and Dallas, or where they also uh, bo took both the number one seeds there. 148 kept it up as they competed at the FIT District Championship where they also took the number one seed in the win there. Kings of Iteration 148 is looking for their fourth number one seed um, this season and a division win and more. So uh, they'll be in the Roebling division um, this year in Houston, uh, where they look to defend their 2018 World Championship. Um, congratulations and good luck to the Robo Wranglers this weekend. 
All right. <clears throat> so real quick, I actually need to issue a correction, and this is a big mistake that I made on my part because I started looking at the top 25, and I was like, where is Team 330? And I realized that I accidentally left 330 out of the list. Mm. Um, so uh, I will need to follow up on that. I believe off the top of my head that they – let me see where they would have fit. Uh off the top of my head, they would have seated I'm tenth, up to... tenth, I believe. Uh, yep, they would have seated tenth. So we will readjust and post this list. So I do apologize to 330 uh, that 330 actually did see tenth in this uh, Poland compiler, which will push all the other teams behind them back one as well. Um, so one issue that correction and apologize to 330 uh, for that mistakes do happen, but we do uh, strive to give it right the best we can. For sure. Mm -hmm. Agreed. All right. All the dramas in the two spot. <laughs> Hashtag drama spot. <laughs> and that's going to go to team 1678. From Davis, California, Davis Senior High School, it's the Citrus Circuits, 47 and 3 overall, and with the winners, the Central Valley, Sacramento, and Aerospace Regionals. Featuring the only triple climb in FRC that has proved its consistency, 1678 has been on fire. They started their season at the Central Valley Regional, seeding second, went to Sacramento, seeded second, went to Aerospace, seeded first, able to pick up the blue banners in all these matches. It's been an interesting to watch the discussion on Chief Delphi, whether the triple climb is the, the game changer. Um, with how Houston Championships is going to play out, but either way, it's going to be uh, really exciting to watch. You can watch it in the Carver Division at the Houston Championships. So, guys, what do you think? 1678 is their triple climb the 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 key thing that's going to propel them to a, a world championship. I'm excited to see. Um, I think people, you know, say with the time it takes to get all three um, lined up, but I think the the risk reward there is great. Obviously, with the the 12. 24 additional points that you're getting um, through those, but um, you know, very good chance that you'll see you know a double a double triple climb um, on the other side. So it, you know, does it come down to the extra 12 points? Um, so I guess we'll see. I don't know, Tyler, what your thoughts are. Uh, you know, in regards to the, are you talking about the triple climb? Triple climb. Yeah. Uh, so for 1670, and we discussed. I I don't know. I mean, the the time it takes to get this right, and it's just going to be have to be a lot of practice. And I think if you're, you know, as weird as it sounds, or not weird, but just arrogant as it sounds, uh, if you're 1678, that this is just something you might need to practice in quarters and semis a bit to get yeah. right in down mountain time. Because I, I think the magic number is 15. I think you can't have more than three robots not doing anything for more than 15 seconds to make it worth the 36 points. Because really, to me, if you can do uh, a level three and two level twos, you're only getting an additional 12 sure. points out of something like that. So to me, the amount of time to decommission three robots is, is 15 seconds or less. At, at, at that point, that's when you have to stop uh, stop doing things and kind of moving forward. So it's, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if we'll see it uh, on Einstein. It will be interesting to see. I, I think we might almost see it as a flex more than anything else. <laughs> if they're just up by a lot, right? I, mean, yeah. I, I don't really know else know what to say on that. Yeah, I guess we'll just kind of say, I think you're right. I think we'll maybe see it through quarters and semifinals. Where where the the point gap is you know higher and then it really gives you that chance to kind of dial it in and see how far you can push you know push your limits, um, but there's just a huge risk reward right if if one team just really struggle getting on, you know you might not be able to get any of them up so um, we'll have to see if that really is you know con continues to be a thing in in the finals on on divisions and then in in the round robin but uh, I'm excited I think it'll be it'll be really cool to see kind of how that that um, element to this game will play out absolutely all right so we're down to it here heading into the houston championship in the number one spot is team 1323 from madera california and madera high school it's madtown robotics with an undefeated overall record of 31 and oh they were the winners the central valley and the sacramento regional it's just an incredible incredible season for 1323 just an absolute beast of a robot um their swerve drive and their efficiency in this game um they just don't make like any unnecessary movements with the robot they're just so smooth um getting around the field and picking up game pieces and delivering them so they'll be in the newton division this year hoping to make it back to einstein as they did last year but um didn't get out of the round robin uh, but really excited to see this robot in person this weekend it's just going to be um, it's going to be awesome. I just can't wait. So congratulations, 1323. Um, I know at the, the top of the show, a lot of people in chat were, were hoping for this, and 
um, and deservedly and rightfully so. Thirteen twenty three takes the number one number one seed here uh, for the Houston top twenty five. Any thoughts from you guys? I mean, they're they're incredible. They're insane. They're the what everybody was saying about two fifty four last year is now embodied in thirteen twenty three uh, for mm-hmm. this year. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be stopping them. I mean, this game has proven that defense can triumph, and it'll be interesting to see if somebody can finally shut them down. I think the only thing you can do is send a well versed sword dry team against them to just match them straight up. So, like, let's say they do end up going against like Jack in the Bot in the finals, uh, and Jack in the Bot can't score anymore. And they go play defense on thirteen twenty three. Like I mean, that's to me. You need to have a the highest caliber drive team with a, probably a sword drive to even think about playing defense against this team. It is. I mean, they are that good, mm-hmm. and that they're so well versed at this point that uh, anything can happen, right? Especially I think in this game, it's, it's been shown that good strategy can triumph over good robots. Mm-hmm. But this team has both. I mean, they they are the best team in both, and it, I don't know if there's going to be stopping them. And Chad, I'd love to hear from you. Do you do you think there's a way uh, that thirteen twenty three can be shut down? I'd love to hear it. It's going to be insanely tough, <laughs> obviously for uh, mm-hmm. for like you just said, Tyler, to not be Captain Obvious, but um, just these teams that Jack and the Bot thirteen twenty three that can just get around the field without even, you know, just play like defense isn't even there. Like, what do you do? You know, uh, but it'll be fun. I can't wait to watch them. So that does it. Another, uh, another uh, year of top 25. I'm excited to do it all over again um, for Detroit next week. But um, like we said earlier, um, Tyler and I will be at the Houston championship um, passing out stickers and doing beyond the bumpers and just talking to you guys and uh, please come up and say hi. Absolutely. uh, We'd love to talk about it all. So, we do have a giveaway. Um, oh, yeah. We have one last one, uh, and that's going to be uh, for the awesome uh, time of flight sensor from playingwithfusion.com. Uh, so uh, make sure you go check them out. I mean, their website might be a little antiquated, but I'm telling you, this can be time of flight sensor. We have heard from a few uh, teams who have started using these and gotten some pretty brave reviews. So make sure you go check it out at playingwithfusion.com. Uh, the winner for this is going to be uh, Sean, actually. Sean Vanessa <laughs> awesome. from 1720. Gives away bad hawks, gets a time of flight sensor uh, in return. So not a bad investment, Sean. On uh, your end uh, there, uh, I'm also a subscriber, and Sean has been a longtime supporter for uh, sure. first updates now. So lots of rigged emotes in chat because uh, we have clearly rigged it uh, for our subscriber, Sean, uh, to win. Uh, but congratulations for winning the time of flight sensor. Nice. Final thoughts on Houston, boys? Uh, I'm I'm gonna make a not a not bold prediction. I think it's gonna be, <laughs> be Madton and Jack in the Bot. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 my first gut too. Uh, once you get to Einstein, anything can happen, of course. True. Uh, yeah. uh, but I I don't. To me, I think that's a winner right there. It could be, still be 973, no doubt, uh, with with 1323. But I don't know how you beat 1323, 2910. I don't think you need to score. I think that's the one use case where you do not need to score all the points uh, to uh, win win Houston. I th- I don't think that team necessarily will because if I'm jacking the bot after I score as much as I can, I just go play defense, and yeah. I might have 45 seconds to spare where I can just harass. Uh, the heck out of a team, and I think uh-huh. that's a I think that's the winning strategy right there. I'm really looking forward to seeing that, uh, and and seeing what's going to happen. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, don't want to sleep on, you know, a possible like Blackhawk and Upper Creek combo yeah. or or Poos and and, and uh, Blackhawk or Poos and Upper Creek, but sixteen seven eight with their triple climb. I don't know how it's going to play out, but it's going to be really exciting to watch. Uh, Justin Nick Cousins, host of Infimidation, likes to make a lot mm-hmm. of bets on his show, and he has proposed to you a bet for this show uh, that. He says he'll bet you a hat. That He's already got one. I already got my hat. I'm not, I'm not giving it up. <laughs> I'm not going to give it up if that's what you're saying. Uh, but I hook it up with a Ranger Robotics hat if I'm uh, if I'm wrong. But we'll see. All right. So be be interesting to see uh, something like that. Uh, Dirt Biker says 1670 and 364 going to win Carver. Uh, I don't think that's too bold of a prediction. I think you know there's a lot of great opportunities. For, I think 364 uh, has what it takes. So it'll be uh, very interesting uh, for that as well. But very exciting things, guys. Houston, uh, definitely looking forward to it. And then, of course, uh, next week, uh, Detroit, uh, where we'll be uh, doing the FRC Top 25 for that. Next week, uh, we will most likely, we're about 75% sure, we'll have a Houston recap show. We are definitely having a Detroit preview show next week as well. And, of course, the FRC Top 25 for Detroit uh, next week too. So looking looking forward to it, gentlemen. It's going to be another great week. For sure.
All right. Well, thank you to everybody who's watched. Uh, of course, if you want more first for box in your life, hey, just let people know. Uh, that first updates now exists uh, where your place to go to, for loud live and independent content. Uh, we are here in a hundred percent community supported by you. We're just passionate people who really just want to make this happen. Uh, we still love to have your feedback in our discord. Go check it out at discord.gg uh, forward slash first updates now, or you can follow the uh, link that's just put in our uh, bot here. Uh, want to give some big shout outs though to uh, supporters of the stream. And we do have quite a few, so bear with me for a minute. And of course, if our bot misses any supporters, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support anyways. Uh, so with four months support, Ratchet458, uh, see Cunnington with a tier one sub, Cookie Hero 289 with three months of support, the sub E2 with uh, three months of support, Grumpback Will, eight months of support, Cool Gamer 910 with a sub, uh, uh, MW McLean from our uh, friends uh, 22 or 2122, man, sorry about that, uh, with a sub, uh, Inkling 6, seven months of support, says upwards and onwards, uh, Cash Up uh, 3256 with a tier one sub, PJ the ref, and a host 17 months of support, Dare, uh, five months of support. Uh, OMG Robots 2 with 13 bits. Uh, be Benzo with 100 bits. Uh, says cheering for uh, 1533. OMG Robots 2. Uh, I was yelling at PJ before, so never mind. <laughs> Razor 9800, 101 bits. Uh, Dirt Bikers with also nine months of a prime support. Uh, more biddies from OMG Robots. Uh, Hola Zola with some biddies. Uh, Meredith Novak, uh, 14 months support. Thanks a lot, Meredith, Meredith for all your support. Uh, Eugene from TBA, 16 months of support. Uh, Ola Zola with a sub as well. Just blame the team with uh, four months support. Says so many votes. Chuckles Bow with a tier one sub. Dirt Bikers uh, with 67 bits. Uh, Miguel Romero, seventh, 100 bits. Uh, and Dirt Bikers uh, just now with another 67 bits. So thank you so much. And thank you to all the supporting uh, fans we have. We can't do it without, we do it for you, but we also can't do it without you so uh thank you so much for all that as well too don't forget to join the now nearly 1700 people of course in our front discord or you can check us out under at first updates now facebook instagram or twitter we might even have our snapchat running uh as a special feature as well during championships too uh so on behalf of myself mike justin and our amazing producer behind the scenes uh nick thank, thank you all for tuning in thank you all of our moderators in chat uh especially this week uh, nick cousins catching the top 25 for us in chat uh with that said good luck to all teams attending the houston championship we'll see you there and we'll see you next week on First Updates Now. Talk to you then. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.